Welcome to the Elements of Spirit reading for the element of water for the week of April 17th, 2017. If you haven't listened to your ether reading, please go back and check that out now. Um, the ether reading will give you a sense of what's going on in the ether, in the space of this week. Rising tides, uh, um, craft being compromised, so the question being, um, how do you feel? The affirmation for the ether reading was, I am buoyant, I am stable, I witness the rising tides of change. And this um, water reading will uh, 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 bounce off of that. <laughs> well. Love it. So um, what I see from, from this read is the throat chakra and the, it's just big, big, big. It's like black and purple, black and purple, which, which is um, uh, both a, like the potential energy of expression and the transformative power of expression. Um, coming out of the throat chakra and the affirmation that goes with it, and this is the affirmation, comes right in. I relentlessly express myself to fortify the integrity of my vessel. So this is actually like um, uh, affirming I am buoyant, I am stable, I witness the rising tides of change is very smart because it sets you, that's the ether affirmation, it sets you into a position where you are affirming the chillness of the moment. Yes, the tides are rising, but it's not that big of a deal. But for the water element, getting that salt water rising, that rising ocean, the question of is the glass half full or half empty, water element is bound to have a lot more feelings about whether the glass is half full or half empty. And um, uh, there's apt to be more um, emotional intensity, even borderline anxiety from the way that these winds are changing or from the way that these tides are changing, the rising tides of change. And the idea here is that fortification of your vessel is called for, fortifying the integrity of your vessel by authoritatively communicating your truth, relentlessly expressing yourself, talking about the changes that are occurring, talking about your feelings about the, the tides that are rising, talking about the things that are changing, talking about what's coming in, what's going out, what you're doing, what you're not doing, how you're feeling, how you're not feeling, a lot of relentless communication in order to turn the tides, interesting, in order to turn the tides um, uh, from, like we said in the very beginning in the ether reading, turn the tides from, oh shit, this is a flood, into the glass is both half full and half empty, maybe a little bit more than both, and we like it that way because the ship is coming in, the, the tides have turned, the winds are changing, everything's happening, and there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to be freaked out about. It's just, the idea here is that your authority over your reality, the clarity and the affirmation that, no, you are not under attack, you are not drowning, you are not losing yourself, things are simply changing, the tides are rising, you've got to talk it out a little bit more. You've been holding these, these rising tides inside of yourself, and it's reaching a fever pitch. Um, it's reaching a, 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 t a tumult, and there needs to be some expression. Um, there's um, stuff that you've been wanting to say that hasn't been said. You don't need to say it to anyone. You just need to say it out loud. Saying it to someone helps, but saying it out loud is just as good. Also writing it down or recording it or talking, talking to yourself. I've been doing a lot of talking to myself. I mean, talking to you, but I get to sit here in front of my computer and talk to you. Um, but it's just me in a room. Um, so uh, it helps. It helps to get this channel flowing and open and juicy and um, to be relentlessly expressing yourself, your reality, your truth, in order to fortify the integrity of your vessel. Because in this great sea of life, every man, every woman is their own ship. And you can, you know, sail side by side and go on beautiful journeys, but um, uh, 
your ship is your responsibility. And if you are one who is sensitive to rising tides of change, then I would recommend fortifying the vessel that you're riding on, fortifying, strengthening, strengthening with the wood and the metal and the nails and the hammers and the iron, all of those things associated with the element of earth, reality, reality check, uh, uh, material truth. You know, it's up to you to define the reality of your vessel so that you can be buoyant and stable and witnessing the rising tides as opposed to feeling like you're drowning. Nice. Um, usually the water element is a lot longer because I'm thinking so much about how this reading applies to myself, who is a Scorpio, you know, self-obsessed Scorpio, um, water sign. Um, but this week, that's what we got. I relentlessly express myself to fortify the integrity of my vessel. I love you so much. I mean it. I'll see you next week. Ciao.